Hey YouTube, this is John and Charles and Princess Frostbite coming back with another episode of our tiny cabin project. So uh, this weekend we finally decided to take this step and spend the whole entire week um, at the cabin. Obviously we're on the road and we've yet to get there but this is going to be the beginning of our video vlog of our journey spending one week off the grid off the grid in the woods in 116 square feet so stay tuned to find out if a week together makes it or breaks it bye Charles unexpectedly. Hi. Hi. I'm eating with my hands. And you're eating an awesome yummy pork steak that John cooked outside on the fire that he started. We've got the Mr. Heater Buddy Heater going. And we've taken the advice of some of the people who commented and used an extension hose and ran it to a barbecue pit sized uh, propane tank um, outside. So this is going good. Uh, it was warm all week, but now it's gotten cold again somehow. Say hi, Charles. Hi, Charles. <laughs> Alright guys, it's day two, so obviously we've changed something. Uh, we took out the L shape of the kitchen counter because it was hiding uh, the refurbished wood pallet countertop. Uh, so now this is really going to show it off a lot better. We've extended the counter with the same wood as the walls all the way across the back wall. Uh, this is to give us a lot more space for food preparations and for storage and we're also going to go ahead and inset our little uh, sink. little sink that we found at the thrift store for two bucks so we'll be back Always wear safety glasses. The moments of truth. How good of a carpenter is my husband? Bam. Look at that, people. That's absolutely perfect. And this is an enamel bowl. We'll end up drilling a hole in it putting a drain and just probably running a tube down to the bottom to feed gray water into the plants outside. Yep, yep, yep. Off the grid vacuuming. 
Alright guys, so the countertop is a mess. Uh, this is day, what, three, Monday? Yeah. Uh, we've decided to go ahead and cut some of these cool granite um, tops here and make a spot for stove top. Uh, this is for fire safety and uh, decor both. Just looks really nice. We're going to have uh, the same tile be uh, backsplash on the back and side. And uh, we're having both rocket stoves as our stove top for now. Um, so yeah, this is Charles at work. Hi. Hi. And when you live in a tiny space and you're doing work, yes, you get a mess. It's not always perfect and clean. You get some mess going on. I need this. All right. Thank you. Hey guys, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, day three on Monday. As you saw before this, we were inlaying the slate countertops uh, in the cabin. And we have finished that project. Uh, though they're not quite dry, they look pretty good. Say hello to Mr. Charles. Hola. And take a look at the countertop. It was a team effort. However, Charles did most of the handiwork on this. He did a pretty darn good job. We will come back and grout them next visit. Yes. Um, on our last day here, which we've decided might actually be today, we're not sure yet. Uh, but on our last day here, we're going to go ahead and polyurethane the uh, entire countertop to protect it from any kind of water damage uh, and also add some sparkle. And we're going to put a thin coat of polyurethane over the slate uh, just to help protect it and give it a nice shine and just bring everything in together. Alright guys, well, we will be back and next part of this video that you'll see will probably be us fishing and having some fun on the river. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is our river. We just threw our bait in. Uh, Charles is more bass fishing, I'm cat fishing, and I went to bring in my pole, my line, and I didn't even know I had this beautiful catfish on my line. I think he's a channel. Yeah, it's a channel. But yeah, clear blue water, fast current. Great fish. All right, guys. Charles just got his first bass out of the river today. He's gotten. Technically, this is the second. The first one jumped off, and it was bigger. A little guy. He's good to go. And just so you guys know, we do do the catch and release. So go ahead and release him, baby. He's got a baby over here. No, oh, it's a small, small mouth. Oh, a small mouth. Now, ain't that the most beautiful fish you ever have seen? Wow. Now that is not a small one. That yep. is a black river bass. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. What a fight. Oh, 
little smally. Double hooked. Sweet. We got this one on a square bill. Alright, guys. This is the big ass bass that I just caught. He's really heavy. And he's got orange eyes. Look at those eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and release him. He struck really hard too. Very aggressive. Just let him sit there for a second. Good size. What is that? A striped bass? Or yeah, a rock I think bass? it's a spotted bass. You're better at identifying the bass than I am. I'm just like, oh, it's a bass. It's got a big mouth. Yeah, I think it's a spotted bass. Good job. Thank you. Shoom, off he goes. So I'm just trying to unhook this guy here real quick. Without hurting them. There we go. Molly. So, Charles just caught this fish. It's a sucker. Out of the river. It's some kind of sucker fish, but I honestly have no idea what it is. I've never seen one. Uh, if you guys know what type of fish, what it's called, um, please let us know because it's rather interesting. <laughs> Thank you.